Dear Denmark, I am writing to you because I am concerned. It seems like we don't understand each other anymore. Every time I hear from you, it's all... Well, quote me flu. And I'm over here like... What fan sit to do or say it? When did you all decide to go French and stop pronouncing the letters in your words? I mean, for example, the word for the color white, which you spell H-V-I-D, is pronounced... Yeah. Oh. Can somebody tell me whatever happened to the H and the D? <laughs> no, no, no. I know what you're thinking. Speaking of D, though, it seems like it's one of the most silenced letters you have. It's like you almost don't want it to exist. Let me see. Begin, van, man, kvin, vil, kul, svad, vad, kru, bleu, plas, lakris, tilfres. Clearly, I'm no master of the Danish language, for I am but a Swede. However, it would feel nice to be able to reach words like Sol, Gul, Godmorgen, Esir, without wondering which of these letters I should or shouldn't say. Well, when it comes to saying, it isn't something that you're afraid of doing, is it? Now, you know I'm talking about your quite dark sense of humor. Well, perhaps it isn't dark for you, but for us Ikeans up here it is. In Denmark, numbers, you know what I'm talking about. I think I speak for the rest of the world when I kindly ask, What fan sit to do or say it? You have numbers like 60, which is tres. Because 20 times 3 is 60, okay nice. And then we have 50, which is hal tres. Because you know, 20 times 3, but only half of the last 20, which is 10. So 20 times 2 plus 10. Yeah, sure, nice. And then we have 80, which is fierce, which would make 70 half fierce. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's half fierce. Okay, Nakia, calm down. At least you've introduced an easy to understand school grading system that we all can take part of. <laughs> Let's see. Start off with 12, which means A. And then goes to 10, which means B. Nice, we're going in a simple two-step pattern here. Followed by 7, which means C. All right, we seem to deviate a little bit from the pattern here. Followed by 4, and that means D. Going in a three-step pattern now. Followed by 0, 2, which means E. Okay, so we're back to the two-step system. And suddenly we add our 0 here. And then finally, zero, 00 must be the lowest grade. Okay, it isn't. It's minus 3. What I really wanted to say with this letter, it's that it's time that we put our differences aside and connect again. <laughs> Mark, I miss you. And uh, I know you don't miss me because Danes don't like Sweden anyways.